is the month of May, when Mary lads are playing. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la. Hello, Dr. Gaines. This is Jim Simmons. I was in the choir from 69 through 72. My best memory of you being with you is singing in the choir in 71 when we did the Beethoven's Night Symphony with the Granville Civic Chorale and the Granville Symphony Orchestra. And our choir tour, I think it was 71, when we were singing Aquarius Let the Sunshine In with bass and bass and guitar that was so nice, the bass and drums, and also your voice class. I still remember the words to Pontius Angelicus. I love you very much. Bye. Shut it up, keep out the devil. Shut it up, keep the devil in the night. Shut it up, keep out the devil. Light the candle, everything's all right. Light the candle, everything's all right. My dearest Dr. Gaines, I think of this song so often and I've sung it so many times throughout the years in times that have been very difficult for me and it helps me find my way. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, when we were singing it in the mid 80s, um, it was one of our favorites and, and it continues to be one of mine. Um, you've given me such great music of the heart music that I continue to sing, music that I share with others. Um, I'm trying so hard to give it back, to give back everything you've given to me uh, and my music. And just wanted to share a couple things that, that, that I think of um, when I think of you and our time together with the PC Choir and our time at PC. Um, my parents continue to talk about the magical dinners and how magical those were. Um, and every single Christmas season, we bring back a little part of magical somehow. And uh, it's just, it was a beautiful experience and something that we looked forward to all the time, um, all of those years that I was there. Another um, memory that comes back that I chuckle at um, every time I think about it is when we were on our beautiful, beautiful choir tour in Europe and we had this extensive layover in Rome. Uh, and Tom Stallworth was on that trip too, which was such an amazing um, addition, of course. Um, we were in Rome and we entertained so many passers-by with, with our songs, with our choir songs. And... Um, you know, I, I certainly got the bug then. That was my first trip to Europe, and I, I certainly got the bug to, to continue going back, which I do every single year, as you know, um, to, to spread the joy in the music uh, that you've given me. So I thank you. And I leave you with a song that feels like it defines um, many choir, PC Choir alums, under your direction, and uh, I continue to sing it. Be thou with me through dark and night that I may see the day illumined bright 
Oh, thank Thee for the hope we have in Thee. I think of you every day. Love you much. Mwah. Hey there, Dr. Gaines. John Johnson here. It's a little after 10 p.m. on Wednesday evening, and I just got home from choir practice, so yes, I'm still singing. Just wanted to send you a quick message to let you know that I'm still thinking about you and praying for you. I know that you can beat this horrible disease. It is affecting too many people in my life right now. I sent Kipper a couple of pictures to go along with my video. One is of my music folder at church, which contains a copy of Be Thou With Me. We sing this wonderful song from time to time as a benediction response, and it always reminds me of my time in the choir with you at PC. The other is a picture of just some of the programs and flyers I kept from concerts we did during my four years there. I could probably dig up more along with tons of pictures, but I didn't have enough time. Finally, if you look over my shoulder here, you'll notice something hanging my, on my home office wall. It is a copy of Be That With Me that you notated and signed when I graduated. I had it framed along with the choir patch. It is a constant reminder how you and the college choir made a difference in my college experience. If it weren't from the, for the choir, I don't know if I would have stayed at PC. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. All my love to you and Mrs. Gaines. Hello, Dr. Gaines. I know you're delighted to hear from your favorite student. Let's see if I can turn you around a little bit and see where we are. This is Polly's Island Presbyterian Church. 
in Pauly's Island, South Carolina. It's a beautiful coastal city across from the ocean. All right, and here was a little, almost like the introduction, the Daggio part of the Takata in D minor, one of my favorite Halloween years. Um, tell you how much I love you, how much I appreciate what you've done in my life. I guess the most fun was going to Europe in, what was that, maybe 1994, and I got to be with you as an adult, and that was pretty awesome. Um, I remember us riding through the Black Forest, and you turning around saying, who put the liquor in the punch? And um, uh, you kind of figured out that Jimmy Thompson and I but then when it got to be a big deal, he said, you keep your mouth shut. And I think I did for 78, 88, 90, almost 20 years. So, but I love you. Thank you for all you've done, except for making fun of my English. Everything else was great. Love you lots. Hi, Dr. Dave, it's Natasha Cassida. I hope you're doing well. Just taking a quick break from my work day to say hello and that I've been thinking about you and um, I wish I was there with Kipper to see you in person and give you a great big hug around your neck. I've had the fortune of spending some time with Kipper lately um, as my daughter's looking at attending PC. Fingers crossed, go blue hose. Um, and just wanted to tell you, as I think back on my college days, every single amazing memory that I have revolves around choir, and you were the thread that held that all together. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate those times and those memories and all that you did for us. Um, you know, Kipper and I were reminiscing about our crazy European choir tour, which to this day is still probably the highlight of my entire life. That trip was absolutely incredible and so much fun. Not sure how you put up with us, but you were incredible. Um, my favorite point was when we went into the museum in France and they decided they did not want to give us our bags back. So you decided that we would sing until they gave us everything back. Um, which I just thought is, was classic and amazing and hilarious all at the same time. So just wanted to say hi and that I love you bunches and I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> just thinking about you and I was thinking back on uh, when I was 18 and got assigned to the music professor at PC and I had no intentions of joining the choir or doing anything like that but I came into your office to sign up for my normal freshman classes and you said you know I see on your high school resume that you have a little background in music and fast forward a few months later, I'm signed up for choir. I think I was probably the only non-music major in the choir. Next thing I knew, I was going to Europe with you on the witty travel bus. I was 
then asked to audition for Madrigals and made it. Um, I just want to thank you for all the amazing opportunities you gave me. Um, I just, when I look back on my college, my four years at PC, you were just such an important part of those four years. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I quit the choir as soon as you retired because the truth was um, choir just wasn't choir without you. We love you and we're praying for you and we wish you all the best. Mwah. Oh, and thank you for coming to my wedding. It meant the world and I still look back on that picture and smile. Love you. Hey Chuck, I saw Kipper's project about sending you videos. So I said, how can I say no to sending a good video to the guy that put me back on the stage back when we did the Fantastics the first time and all the other many productions we did. And also, what about doing um, My Way, the Frank Sinatra show? Some of the most fun I've ever had on stage, all of those. I know you've been having a little struggle. I want you to know we're all thinking about you. And uh, I want to hear you playing the piano again so I can sing. Taylor, too. Taylor told me to tell you to include her in this. So we just want to all, me, Kim, Kelly, Taylor, especially Taylor, I want to all send you our love. Hope you're doing better and hope you continue to improve. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Dr. Gaines, I was asked to share my favorite choir memory with you and I have a lot of great memories of choir because it was the highlight of my years at PC. Um, but of course cabaret came to mind quickly. I still remember um, those long rehearsals. I still think about cabaret every February. I even remember some of the choreography after all these years. Uh, but I guess the biggest memory are all those choir tours because something crazy always seemed to happen. Uh, my freshman year was the blizzard of 93 when we got stuck in Nashville for days at the hotel with all the truck drivers. Uh, then, of course, my sophomore year, we went to Europe, and that was the first time I'd ever been on a plane. And 
since we were in alphabetic order, I was seated right next to you, which I was very thankful for because I think you put me at ease um, on that first flight. You even let me sit by the window. Um, and just so many wonderful things to remember about Europe. Uh, but I think the one thing none of us will ever forget was that museum in France where they wouldn't give us our bags back. And the man insisted that he needed the tag that he never gave you. And you kindly asked him, do you want to search my body? Uh, I think we had a lot of fun teasing you about that one for years after that. Um, then, of course, my junior year, we went to New York and our bus was stolen. So... I just have so many great memories. I'm so thankful for those years um, as I was a student at PC. But then also I remember working at PC during um, my grad school years as I finished seminary um, and the year that you were retiring. And I was able to be there with you as you packed up your office. And we just found such amazing things from all your years at PC. And I'm just really thankful I had the opportunity to share that time with you. Um, I'm just really thankful for my time in the choir. Thank you for giving me confidence to be on the stage, even if it was dressed like a Japanese schoolgirl. Um, I know that being in choir made me a better person and helped me be who I am now. And I just want to let you know that you and Mrs. Gaines are in my thoughts and prayers, and I love you both. Tiny bubble. Makes me feel fine Tiny bubbles Make me warm all over With a feeling that I'm gonna love you till the end of time So here's to the golden moon And here's to the silver sea But mostly here's a toast to you and me Tiny bubbles Tiny bubbles In the wine In the wine Makes me happy boy just up off of the floor we used to go down to grandma's house every month in the snow we'd have chicken pie and country ham with homemade butter on the bread but the best darn thing about grandma's house was a great big and the bed it was nine feet high and six feet wide soft as a downy chick it was made from the feathers of four to eleven geese with a whole wolf of cloth for the tick and it'd hold eight kids and four hound dogs and a piggy we stole from the shed we didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's and the bed. After supper, we'd sit around the fire, the old folks would spit and chew. Paul would talk about the farm and the war, and Granny'd sing a ballad or two. And I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. Next thing I'd know, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, and soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four to eleven geese, took a whole world did hold eight kids and four half dogs and a piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's and the bed. This is our ode to Chuck. Chuck Gaines is a super nice guy who can play any song on the fly. Let me tell you, by gosh, he directs with panache. There's none other with standards as high. He's led many trips across the pond to Europe and places beyond. Oh, the stories are told of those choir trips of old and the memories that formed a deep bond. He, he taught, taught us that, that life's more than luck, luck that, that there's, there's more besides Mozart, Mozart and Gluck. Gluck. It's been many a year but the lessons were clear, and we all say today, Thank you, Chuck! 
We, we love you. you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Chuck. It's us, Amy and Bob, on Hickory Street. Yes, and we're going to sing the PC College fight, fight song, song, if Amy can pitch it correctly. Okay, here we go. On and on PC, to victory, garnet and blue, oh, we're for you in everything you do, Presbyterian spirits are high, never say die, for if we win or if we lose, we will love you PC blue, so go blue hoes, get them blue. Presbyterian spirits are high, never say die, for if we win or if we lose, we will love you PC Blue, so go Blue Hoes, get them blue! Yay! So, we're getting gearing up for homecoming, and then you know, right after homecoming this year is Halloween. A good time to get out of Hickory Street. Yes, that is the point. So we're going to exit Hickory Street at that time. So we're thinking of you, and we love you, and we hope to see you soon. See you soon, Chuck. Bye. Bye. All I want is a room somewhere Far away from the cold night air With one enormous chair Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Lots of chocolate for me to eat, lots of coal making lots of it. Warm face, warm hands, warm feet, oh wouldn't it be lovely? Oh, so lovely sitting up so blooming loot, Lee still. I would never budge till spring. Crept over me windowsill, someone's head resting on my knee, warm and tender as he can be. Who oh, takes good cares of me? Oh, wouldn't it be lovely? Lovely, 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 lovely. Now only you could take my rich southern accent and turn it into a semi-cockney accent for just a little while and let me play Eliza Doolittle on your stage. And wouldn't you know it, just over 20 years later I have my own Eliza, my oldest daughter, as a freshman at Presbyterian College. You know, you were there for day one and you were there for the very last day on my journey at PC. You know, my dad and I were on our way home from Appalachian State and I was bound to be a mountaineer. And he had a great idea just to stop in and see Presbyterian. And as soon as we pulled in and went right up to Belk Auditorium, not knowing where we were, you walked out and you had dress pants and a coat and tie, of course, and this little curly redhead walked right up to you and you said, may I help you? And somehow I knew I was meant to be there and I would be a blue hose. And you had no idea what you were getting into. <laughs> You know, I think the Lord sent you for so many people to bless. But I like to believe he sent you just for me. Thank you for the years and years and years of um, just an experience through music that you have given to so many people. I'll tell you, you are tattooed on our hearts, and there you will remain. I have so many memories that I share with a lot of others that have already uh, shared them with you. Uh, but it's the ones that... Um, that I got to share with you just one-on-one -on -one that are my favorite. Like that time you had cataract surgery and you had to lie belly down with your face down for a while and we had work to do. So you had me come over and I had to sit on the floor right there at the sofa and look up at you and take notes. And somehow we got it all done. And how about the Sundays where I invited myself over for dinner for popcorn and cheese cubes and apple slices. And then there's that time where you convinced me to hold an umbrella over your head while you finish grilling hamburgers for the choir in your backyard. You somehow remained bone dry and I became soaking wet. 
But I'll tell you, I got one of the coolest t-shirts out of the deal. And it's still one of my most treasured pieces. Somehow, Mrs. Gaines went up there and found a t-shirt that um, she didn't think anybody wanted anymore. And um, I'm so thankful to have been recipient of this vintage number. Dr. Gaines, from all of us, from the classes of 1965 to 1998, all our friends with the Presbyterian College Choir alums, we say thank you to all that you have given us. I'm sure our parents would thank you and even our children would thank you if they knew how much they too have received from you. We're thinking about you and we love you and we hope that you know just how much we have received from you. You've changed our lives for the better. I love you. I think of you every day and I'm praying for you.